Here's how to do the fun underwater scene with bubbles. I'm going to take my mop brush with some dark blue, light blue, and a little bit of white. Doesn't matter the combination, but go back and forth across the whole page and then dry it really, really good because we're going to do bubbles all over that. Now I'm taking bubble wrap and my mop brush and on the textured side, I'm going to brush on some paint. You do not want to dip it in the paint because the paint will get inside the bubbles and you're not going to get the stamp effect. So then I do that and I very lightly, you can use the flat side, just press down and pull up or I like to fold it and be able just to tap it that way you have a little bit more control and then just brush on bubble uh, paint as needed I'm just using white paint and you do that all over I like to spread it out a little bit so it looks like the bubbles are rising from the bottom now you can use any type of bottle cap I use uh, right aid uh, lids from the pill bottle lamp I did a couple years ago and I dip it in the paint press down and twist on the paper you want to make sure you're using the side that has the rims and not the flat side because you're only using that outer edge as the stamp for your bubbles and I always say push down and turn it's ironic because those lids actually say push down and turn so the instructions are right on the lid for it and I'm going to do that all over again spacing them out and then I'm gonna take my mop brush with some sandy color and a little bit of white and at the bottom of my ocean I'm going to do some sand just back and forth strokes now for seaweed, I'm going to take my medium round brush with some dark green and some white and just starting at the very bottom in front of the sand, make sure you dry it. I'm doing some wavy lines going up into the ocean. You don't want them to be stick straight because the water would be pushing them around and they're kind of crossing over each other and make sure they're all different heights. I'm doing some on the left hand side of my painting and on the right side. There's how you do the background for the underwater scene. Now, however you do it, if you have too much seaweed and you want to put bubbles in front, you can. And then do your fish. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I cheat when I do this painting with people like kids and residents who can't get a perfect shape for a fish. I use cutouts and then I design the fish. I have them take a detail brush and add some detail. So here you go. I'm going to show you a couple different fish designs. But if we were going to paint it by hand, this is what I would tell you to do. Take your medium round brush and some white paint and make a sideways oval with two little curved lines coming out of the back for fins. Could do a little point on the front for his mouth. And then I'm going to do a fin coming off the top and off the bottom like that. Then dry it and then I would fill it in with the color fish you want. It's important to do white first so your fish isn't kind of muddy from the dark background. And then I'd take a detail brush and add your design. I usually just do the C around the front of his face and then do some lines outlining the, the fins and the back fins. And then I take some white too and I do some highlights. You can even do little backward Cs for the um, gills kind of on the side of his body, just like that. And don't forget his eyes so he can see. And for the little boy who wanted to see a shark, I'm going to make this one my own now and show you kind of a simple shark. I'm going to do a longer pointed oval, do a fin on the back that looks like a C, but make it a little bit thicker and pointed. A point at the top, two fins at the bottom, and a highlight on the belly with white. Um, I'm even doing some two little pointed fins towards the tail three curved lines for his gills and then I take black paint and kind of shade in those uh, fins. Don't forget to do a little black for his face where his mouth is. Sharks have a pointed nose too so I would do a point like that and he looks kind of funny without teeth so I'm going to take a detail brush and do some pointy teeth. Now I don't really have a really simple shark tutorial yet. I'll have to do a more detailed one later but this is how I would do it. Um, and then it's up to you how much detail you do. So I just go in then and I add some highlights and shading. I like to outline with black anything I want to really stand out, kind of like the tail and the nose. So just have fun with it. You can design this one however you want. This is one example of how you can make it your own. Kind of looks like a scene out of Finding Nemo, doesn't it? But there's both examples. Have fun with it. I'd love to see what you come up with.